I'm putting down a new garden bed today and about halfway through I realized I should uh, probably explain a little bit how I do this. Um, so what I've done is I put cardboard down just straight over the green lawn. So you can see the difference there where the black uh, roof lining was laying all summer. So I just lay the cardboard down and I splash some water over it just to sort of soften it up a little bit and start the decomposition, start it breaking down and get that going. And then I've taken this chicken run compost pile and scattered it around just roughly. And then uh, we have a little bit left of the round hay bale, the spoiled hay that we got at the beginning of the season. So I, I've scattered a layer of that. It's not a super thick layer and it's, it's pretty wet. We've had a lot of rain, so it's, it's wet and it's, you know, somewhere in the process of decomposition. So that should be very nice to have here and that will also help uh, the process of breaking down the cardboard and the lawn below and, and this will all get incorporated into the soil underneath over the, over the fall and winter and, and the early spring. And then on the top, just add a, as a, like a final mulch layer, um, there's some, some hay, which is just a uh, meadow, which I've started mowing by hand yesterday. Uh, so that's just freshly cut long grass. And that should just be kind of a, uh, it's another green material, uh, sort of a blanket mulch, which will keep the moisture in and keep the microbes and the worms and everybody happy underneath. And that's it. That's basically it. That's how I, that's how I've built my garden beds and that's, you know, with the rest of the garden that's been working well and I plan to continue doing that in the future. I mean, it's only first year, so of course I can't say for sure. There might be something that I don't know yet that we will learn along the way. But from what I can tell so far, this uh, is very easy. It doesn't require any machinery. It doesn't require a lot of hard work. Um, it doesn't cost anything if you have some of these materials on hand, especially if you have chickens or some other livestock. Yeah, so I would definitely recommend this method and, and plan to keep doing it.